This video is sponsored by ptcglstore.com, a great place for you to buy Pokemon TCG code cards. Please remember to use my code NIGHT22 at checkout so that you can get a 5% discount. Before going into the video, please take a second to click that like button and we're on the road to getting 9,000 subscribers to this channel, so please subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you all so much for all of your support and I hope you guys are enjoying the content I put out in this channel. In today's video, I'll be showcasing Claw from the Paradox Rift expansion set. Cloth has this awesome attack called Unhinged Scissors. For 2 colors energy, it deals 30 plus damage. However, if this Pokemon is affected by a special condition, this attack deals 190 damage instead. You can easily power up this attack using the double turbo energy, however it will reduce your attack by 20 damage. There are a few ways to put a special condition to your own Pokemon, however today we'll be pairing Cloth with the ancient Pokemon Brute Bonnet. It has the ability Toxic Powder. If you have the Ancient Booster Energy Capsule attached to this Pokemon, you can poison the active Pokemon of both players. So now with Cloth poisoned, it can now deal more damage. I also have Radiant Hisuian Sneasler. Thanks to its ability Poison Peak, it will increase the poison damage received by your opponent's active by 2. With this, your opponent's active Pokemon will receive 30 damage between turns. As for my draw engine, I'm using Bibarel with Squovit. However, I also have a copy of Mew EX, more for its restart ability so that we can draw until we have 3 cards in our hand. This is great for drawing extra cards, especially if you happen to not evolve into your Bibarel right away. And this also has 0 retreat cost so we can use it as a pivot. We'll be using Arvin a lot in this build. It's great for finding 1 item card from our deck and also 1 tool card which is great for finding the Ancient Booster Energy Capsule for our Brute Bonnet. And I did add 2 rock chest plates since reducing 30 damage to attacks against our cloth can help it survive a few hits. Also for recovery, I added 1 copy of Roseanne's backup so that we can recover a double turbo energy, an ancient booster energy capsule, 1 Pokemon, and 1 stadium. Cloth is a straightforward attacker and it deals a lot of damage, and you can even pull off a turn 1 knockout if you go second. While this build is quite unique, there's just so many complicated components for it to work, so for me, this build is just okay. Anyways, that's pretty much it. You can find the complete decklist in the description below. And now please enjoy the following gameplay videos showcasing Cloth. Alright, on to our first match. My opponent will be going first in this one. And we're going to start with a Cloth in the active spot. We have a Battle VIP Pass, which is great. And an Arvin. My opponent will have one Mulligan. And this is a Dark-type build. So I think we're going against the infamous Roaring Moon build, which is really nice. The new Paradox Rift set has is actually really, really great. There's a lot of good Pokemon here that does change up the whole uh, matchups in the meta. So I really like this one. But we're going to start this, of course, with our single price build with our Cloth and our Brute Bonnet. Okay, let's see what we got here. Yes, we are going against the Roaring Moon build. Um, we have a pretty strong start though. Definitely gonna start with a Bidoof. You want to start with your draw engine, Battle VIP Pass to get Brute Bonnet into play and also Radiant Hisuian Sneasler. And then we're gonna put an energy to our Brute Bonnet. We could use it to attack later on if we need to. 180. HP once we put the tool card onto it So that could prove to be useful. I'm just going to end my turn here. Not much I could do But on our next turn we can definitely start attacking For 170 damage at least with double turbo energy reducing our attack damage output by 20 This roaring moon EX build is actually pretty explosive though um, Since they are going second they could attack this turn depending on how well they set up. If they can find their Dark Patches and also Professor Sada's Vitality. So this uh, Roaring Moon requires three energies to attack with both of its attack. One is an instant knockout, one is 100 base damage, and 120 more if there's a Stadium in play that they choose to discard. All right, there's the Ultra Ball. Uh, probably gonna go for Radiant Greninja. No, another Roaring Moon EX. 
And they're also playing more Peko in a hungry hurry. No retreat cost if there's no energy. 70 chip damage and then move two dark energies to one of their benched Pokemon. All right. Interesting single prize attacker. There's the Professor Sada's Vitality accelerating one basic dark energy or one basic energy. Yeah, it's any one basic energy to two of their ancient Pokemon. Dark Patch to attach to their benched Roaring Moon. If they have a switch and then attach for turn, they can actually attack this turn, knocking out my cloth. Um, I should have actually put one energy to either Bidoof or my Hisuian Sneasler. That way I can just retreat it. So this is going to be... Uh... Oh no! Um... Yeah, it is. It's going to be a problem for sure. Uh, but they still need to switch out their active though. It has two retreat costs, so if they don't find a switch... We could still uh, deal the initial attack against them on our second turn. There's the basic energy. They need to switch. All right, Ancient Booster energy. And they're just going to pass. All right, they didn't find the switch. Awesome. Sweet, sweet, sweet deal. All right, so what we're going to do is actually use Arvin. And then what I'm going to do is get an Ultra Ball so that I can get my Bibarel. Because drawing extra cards is essential to this. Consistency. And then we're going to get our Ancient Capsule to put onto our Brood Bonnet. We poison both active Pokemon. And then I will sacrifice these two, actually. Because I need to recover and then double turbo energy to power up my cloth. And then start attacking this turn for a lot of damage. All right. Industrious Incisors for three. We have a switching card, which is pretty awesome. And then... I could go ahead and just use Palpad to recover Iono. Iono can help you late game to dwindle down your opponent's hand size if they get ahead in a price exchange. So that's good. All right, so what I'm going to do is just use Toxic Powder that will deal three damage counters to uh, their Roaring Moon EX because of our Radiant Hisuian Sneasler. And then we should be able to use... Unhinged Scissors for 170 damage. So we need 30 more damage to this active to knock it out. But they will just switch it out. And we'll need to replace our Cloth to attack. We have a Switch card to switch out one of our Pokemon. But we need a basic Pokemon to replace our Cloth to attack as well. And if we can get enough energies or damages to their Roaring Moons, I think we should be fine. And then all we need to do is just keep poisoning their Pokemon until they just get knocked out. They will retreat their active Roaring Moon into their other one with a 290 thanks to the Ancient Capsule there. And they will discard the other one with a lot of damage. Okay. So Collapse Stadium does help out, especially if they use up their instant knockout attack. And they're just going to deal 100 damage, plus the poison that we dealt to ourselves that will knock out our cloth. All right, for the meantime, I'm just going to put this brute bonnet in the active we have a professor's research okay that's really good i'm going to go ahead and use super rod to get my cloth back and then let me try the barrel maybe we can draw into a search an artisan okay perfect Dude, that is perfect. Let's go ahead and get a cloth. 
in play again. Double turbo energy. We have a switching card to switch out our brute bonnet. Professor's research to draw seven. This is insane. Oh, <gasps> we can actually copy their attack. But if it deals 200 damage to Mew EX, we will die. <laughs> we will die. All right. Um, let me go ahead and just get another cloth. I'm not going to put Mew EX because it's, it's a liability. So I'm going to go ahead and just use Toxic Powder first. Because we need to poison our cloth to deal a lot of damage. And then 170. Alright, cool. That's not too bad. Uh, we're This is an uphill battle, sort of. But 170 is not too bad of an attack. 120 HP left to this Roaring Moon EX. Actually, now that I think about it, I think having one tool jammer in any deck is good. Especially if you just put it in your active attacker and then, you know, if they have this extra HP capsule attached and then it becomes inactive, it just, it will just knock them out. I think that's a good, it's a good plan. Hmm. Since Cloth doesn't have a lot of HP, maybe just putting that in my deck instead of the rock chest plate. Hmm. That definitely is an option. All right, they're gonna go and knock out my brute bonnets as I expected. That's actually why I reserved this nest ball. That way I can get another one from the deck, put it into play, and I just have to find an ancient tool card. Can we get it? That's the question. I'm going to use Iono. We're still drawing six cards. So we have a pretty good chance of drawing into one, hopefully. Yes, we did! That's awesome, dude. Let's go. Um... Let me go ahead and put one energy to cloth. That actually, if you put just regular energies to cloth, we could actually hit for maximum amount of damage, even deal a, uh, just a one hit knockout against this roaring moon. All right, I think we're good. We are good here. We're gonna reserve that one energy in the discard pile so that we can use right hand next turn in case they knock out one of our Pokemon and then we have an Arvin to keep our lineup of Brute Bonnets. So if we need to get another one, we can just use Super Rod. So for now, we're just gonna use Toxic Powder and we should be able to knock out this active Roaring Moon EX. That's gonna get us our two, first two prizes, very good. Awesome. We have a boss orders and a squovit. And we can even take a an easy knockout against this Squawkabilly EX. Because we're hitting for 170 plus or minus 30. So that is actually 140. No, 130. And then all right okay this is okay all right all right what's going on um let me put radiant hizu and sneezler because again we can easily recover that i might as well just use super rod to recover um brute bonnet right they're gonna retreat into their Morpeko. Okay. Okay. I have no energy and I don't wanna waste energy. And then I'll just use Switching Card and Rock Chest Blades. 
protect this guy. And then I know I'm gonna get knocked out anyway, so I might as well just put this guy with no rock chest blade onto it into play. Toxic powder. And then I'm going to knock out this more peco. Very nice. So next turn, I can actually uh, hit for a lot of damage in the next turn. I have to switch out this Quackabilly EX in the active spot. And then with the poison, I should be able to knock it out. So 170 minus 30 and then 30 damage for the poison, we can knock out that Quackabilly. They're gonna... Pokemon Catcher, I said. Yeah, this is the a reprint. Counter Catcher against our Bibarel. Okay, um... That prevents us from using Arvin. I could use Double Turbo Energy to just hard retreat and then use boss's orders. I think that's the easiest way to handle this. I can recover a special energy anyways using Roseanne's backup. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that into my cloth. Use boss's orders against this Quackabilly EX because this is the one hit knockout we can actually deal. Toxic Powder, poisoning both Pokemon. Three damage to their Squawkabilly. And since they are resistant, 140 is enough to deal a knockout with the poison against the Squawkabilly EX. Getting us two prizes this turn. Not too bad, dude. Awesome. That gets us two prizes. We need one more prize. Escape Rope is going to guarantee that hopefully next turn. And then let's see how many boss orders. I think we used up... No, we have one more. So we should have one more boss orders in the deck. If we can get it, we could just target one of their one prizers and then win this game. We're good. More Peko. I don't know why more Peko is good in this deck. Is this even good in the deck? Two energies onto it, then move it. I guess it's good chip damage, but I don't know if it's that useful, to be honest with you. All right. Pokestop gets them Professor Sada Vitality to the discard pile along with the boss orders. So I don't know. Will they be able to win this one? If they can attach one more energy onto... Yeah, I think they will. They have Professor's Research, but four prizes left to go. I don't think they can win this one. But we need to keep up the price exchange here. Uh, or at least our cloth. If we can keep it attacking, we should be fine. And they don't have any more energies in the deck. Oh no! Six, seven, eight. Okay, there's the recovery. But that missed the chance. That missed their chance to get an energy. Wait, did they get an energy? Oh no, they're using Dark Patch. Are they just gonna chip damage my cloth? I don't know what's going on. Okay. Ancient booster. Okay. I think it's time for me to start using Squovit. Because um, if I can get a boss's orders, I can just win this this match now. Right? Um, we are ahead in the price exchange. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and use Nestash. Hopefully we can get a boss's orders in the next few draws here and then just end this match. Still nothing, okay. Um Energy Search. Do that. And then I can use Roseanne's backup then to just recover these and a double turbo energy. And Artisan, I guess. That could help us. And then I'm just going to attack. I mean, what else can we do, right? We already have poison. Uh, we can poison our opponent's active. It's going to add damage to it. And then it's going to be a lot easier for us to knock it out. So we're going to use Unhinged Scissors to deal 170 damage. We have a backup attacker on our bench. 
and it's just a matter of time to for us to knock out our opponent's Pokemon. We just need one more prize to win this. Do they have anything to counter our setup? They are adding a lot of HP to their Roaring Moon though. If they can manage to keep retreating their Roaring Moons, they could stall a little bit, but I'm not sure how they're going to win this one. They're going to use Iono, and that's fine with us because we have the Barrel to draw extra cards. And that actually helps us to uh, sift away our boss's orders. So there it is. Three energies on this Roaring Moon. What will they do? Will they attack? Yep, they will attack, but you know what? That's going to end this, this game because we have another cloth available to attack and we will be able to deal a lot of damage and win this game. So we don't even need to get a boss orders to target anything. We're just going to knock out their active Roaring Moon for the win. 190 damage. Knocking it out, getting our last prize for the win. All right, cool. Very good game against... Roaring Moon EX matchup. All right, not too bad. <laughs> Good game. All right, in this next matchup, we actually won the coin flip, but I've decided to go second. Like I said, I do prefer going second with this build. We're gonna start with two cloths in our board, which is really nice. Zamazenta with the Metal Shield ability and Retaliate, which can deal 220 damage, is in the active spot. They have Artisan, and that could actually help us out for our setup next turn as well. And with Arvin in play, we could actually deal a knockout blow against the Zamazenta. And they're gonna end their turn. All right, cool. Um, Artisan first. Let's go ahead and get our Brute Bonnet in play. Battle VIP Pass will also get us a Bidoof and a Radiant Hisuian Sneasler to increase our poison damage. And then, unfortunately we don't have any double turbo energy and there's no way for us to draw into them. So, um, I mean, I could get a double turbo energy. Let me go ahead and do that. I mean, uh, Ultra Ball to get a new EX, and then maybe draw into a double turbo energy. So I'm going, going to just discard this Bibarel and Roseanne's backup for now. Get a new EX, Ancient Booster Energy Capsule onto our Brute Bonnet, Palpad to get these two back to the deck. And then what we're gonna do is hope for a double turbo energy for a Knockout. No, we can you'd not get <laughs> not get a knockout. Okay. Um Let me go ahead and put an energy to cloth and then poison both Pokemon. Both active. So now their Zamazenta will have three damage counters onto it. And that will put a little bit of pressure to my opponent. And looks like they're using uh, Gimme Ghoul. This is the Goldengo build. Let's see how well my opponent sets up here and see how well this Goldengo. Goes against our cloth. Uh, they will be losing two prizes instead of one. We are a one prize build. Except if they target our Mew EX, that's going to be a problem. But, um, yeah, coin bonus draws them two. And if they evolve into two Goldengos, that's more draw into their hand. And then they can deal as much damage as the energies they discard during a turn. So Mew EX, they have at least... A liability on their bench, we can actually knock out that Mew EX. They're dealing 100 damage, and with that poison, we actually killed ourselves in a way, which is not, <laughs> it's not good. 
But you know what? That's fine. That's a risk we are willing to take. So we're gonna go and put this cloth in the active spot. We will try and deal some big damage next turn. Evolve into a barrel. Uh, keep our lineup of cloth in play. We gotta remember to recover these later on though. Because if we don't, we might just... End up not having any attacker. Double turbo energy with Mew EX. That is awesome. So we can now attack, poison this Goldango. And then uh, we can actually get a bonus attack damage output if we want to. But do we want to? That's the question. Um, next nest ball. Boss's orders. I could boss their Mew EX. We are dealing... What? 170? It's not going to be enough to knock it out, though. And then they could just retreat it. Hmm. Um, here. How about I just uh, poison this active? I'm just going to deal a lot of damage. I'm just going to put pressure on this guy. And then I'm going to save my boss orders... So that I can gust it into the active again next turn if they retreat it. So, we're going to use Unhinged Scissors to deal 170 damage plus 30 poison. That's 200, so now we can knock it out easily next turn for 60. There's another Goldango, so they're drawing a lot of cards. Like I said though, they are only taking out one prize at a time. But it can hit for a lot of damage um, if they can build up enough momentum with the amount of energies they have on their hand. So with two energies in the discard pile though, they are not getting enough energies with their energy retrieval. But it should be enough to knock out our cloth and... What's going to be a problem is finding our double turbo energies. Always seems to be the thing with the double turbo energies. We have Mew EX to pivot into at least. If they knock out our cloth, we can just put our Mew EX in the active and then retreat. And... Alright, so we can pass next turn, then we can knock out this Goldango. All right, let me just pivot into Mew EX for now. And then Roseanne's back up. We don't need that right now, but we can recover another cloth. Okay, this is our last one. Let's see what cards we have in the deck. Uh, we still have two rock chest plays that will actually, that could help us out in this, in this match. If we can get a hold of that, that's going to help us. So what I'm going to do is actually use Professor's Research because I am in a desperate... Dude, we didn't get the double turbo energies. Always like that. It's so annoying. Um, let me touch an energy here. And then what I'm going to do is... 180. Can they deal a lot of damage with Goldengo? Can they knock out my Mew EX? I'm sure they can. So what I'm going to do is actually just retreat into this cloth. I'll just try and recover one with Arvin. And then we can put one in our bench again with Artisan. So I'm just going to end my turn. That poison should knock out this Goldengo. And then that's going to get us two prizes evening out the the prize between us and that even got us an ancient booster energy capsule so now even if they target our brute bonnet we can just replace it with artisan and then get another cloth with arvin or a super rod so that we can recover more cloths from our discard pile so that's the plan 
They have three energies in the discard pile. They've already used up two superior energy retrieval. Uh, three energy retrieval. So they only have one left in the deck. Um, what is this? Evolution. All right. They can evolve two more gold dangos, but that will end their turn. And that could afford us a... An, uh, um, a prize. What I mean to say is that we can get ahead in the prize exchange if we can knock out one of their Pokemon. But uh, again, our li only liability is Mew EX. And... My opponent is only taking one prize at a time, so we still have an advantage here, for sure. So let's see how this goes. We need that double turbo energy though. It's always the, the case, you know, always having to find that double turbo energy. It's so annoying. But at least we have one cloth that's ready to attack next turn. So we are looking pretty good here. Um, all right, I think we are good. We'll put one here. Um, we're gonna put one energy to this cloth and then Use the escape rope. Push back their Mew. And it depends which one they put in the active spot. Zamazenta, alright. That could be a huge problem later on, so I'm okay with that. And then... I'm going to just poison my active and also their Zamazenta. And what do I need? What do I need here? Um, no, that's all I need. That's all I need for now. I'm going to hit for 160 damage. Knocking out their Zamazenta, getting us another prize, getting us ahead in the prize exchange. Okay, Bidoof. So we're gonna we're gonna keep this uh, switching cards in our hand because, I mean, we have Mew EX to pivot into. He has pr uh, free retreats, but you know it's gonna be a challenge here because we can't one hit knock out a Goldengo unless they keep it in the active spot. It does require two energies to retreat though, so I mean, you can get a Nyono dwindle down their hand down to just three. I mean, they can draw extra cards with, with Goldengo, but, you know, it really depends, too, on how much energy they can discard from their hand to deal that damage. 100 damage, discard 2. And that will knock out our Cloth. Okay. So, the story continues. Iono, dude! The Iono! We needed that. Uh, let me get a Bidoof. Or no, no. Um, a Squovit. That's what I need. Let's see how much energy we have left in the deck. Three! Okay, we have three. We have three in the deck. Let me go ahead and use... Iono. That will limit their hand... And then hopefully less energy. There's the double turbo energy that we needed. Excellent. Exactly what I needed. I'm going to keep this Arvin actually. Because we can increase our damage output later on. And then if we can set up our double turbo energy next turn. Yes. Yes. That's exactly what I need for next turn. And then we can use... Um, But then they can just target my Mew EX next turn, right? That's going to be a problem. I can use Rock Chest Blade to increase my defense. So they'll need a lot more energies to discard from their hand to actually maybe deal a knockout blow against my Cloth. And then 170 for Unhinged Scissors for 170. And... Yeah. 
after this turn, then we pass. That will knock out their Goldengo, and then we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. If we have a boss orders that could seal the deal, we need to recover our cloth, though. We only have this one in the active, so we might need Arvin to get our super rod and then use Artisan to recover and put another cloth into play. They will retreat their Goldengo EX to their bench. And depending on how many energies they have in their hand, they might not actually knock out our McClough. Never mind. <laughs> they have Clara, okay. They have Clara. That's fine, we can pivot out into Mew EX, use Arvin to get Ordinary Rod, get another Cloth, and then the bad part is if they just switch out their Goldengo. But if they can't switch out this guy, we might get a knockout there and then just knock out whatever they put in the active the next turn. Maybe get a boss orders. Unless they bu uh, boss our Mew EX first and then they uh, get enough energies in their hand, that's, <laughs> that's gonna be very horrible. But it really depends on how well we set up here. I think my opponent was not able to ration their superior energy retrieval well enough. But they did get a few knockouts from that though. 120, they were able to discard three energies to knock out our cloth. And that's gonna do it. Um, we are in a lot of trouble here. So we have to use Arvin to get a super rod to recover our Pokemon. And then maybe a rock chest plate. But we actually need to deal more damage than anything so we'll just get cloth in back to our deck we have three of them now and then i can set up one but because i'm not knocking one this guy out it's gonna be a problem i'm gonna use defiance band to increase my damage output. Use Quovit. Use in Heavy Ball. Let's see what we have in the... Alright. Another Brute. Draw 3 with Mew EX. And then... Draw 2 with Big Barrel. Cloth, okay. Retreats, and then we're dealing 200 damage plus poison, 230. Okay, 230. 230 damage, we're so close! Oh. So close, yet so far. How many Ionas did we use already? If we can use another Iono, that could disrupt their hand. But for them to get a knockout, maybe they'll need more energies. No more Goldengos in the deck. Alright, cool. They have 10 cards left. They're drawing 6 cards. Oh man. Earthen Vessel. Do they have any more energies in the deck? No? Dude. How many energies do they have in this deck? Six, seven, eight, nine. They only have nine cards in this deck? Uh, <laughs> okay. Well, if you run out of energies, you're not gonna be able to attack. They're gonna retreat, but can they recover energies to attack? That's the question. 
Focus stop. Oh man. I think they need like a recovery card here. They're gonna retreat to this guy. Coin bonus for two. I think that's it. They they might have just used up all of their resources and they cannot attack anymore. If they can discard two energies, they could knock out our cloth. But if not, we can just knock out this Goldengo in the active and then just continue to attack. And we are golden. Eh? Eh? <laughs> yes, they're just gonna pass, okay. All right, I think that's it. They uh, they burnt out all of their resources and we're just gonna continue to attack this guy then. 200 damage. And unless they can recover in any way, I think we should have it. Yeah. I mean, you know what? Everybody's just testing out the decks. You know, everybody's not familiar with how the decks work. So um, I'm sure you know, keeping your resources in check is is part of the challenge, you know? So as of right now, we um, we are winning because, I mean, both of us are basically playing new decks. So we should be, we should be in the same level, sort of. But it's kind of nice to see that we are winning against a Goldengo deck. So now this is going to be a problem. They have a boss orders available in their deck. Uh, they are able to recover a bunch of energies from their discard pile. So they can energize their Goldengo with one metal energy. But then again, that will use up their energies. So let's see how my opponent handles this situation and then go from there there's the boss's orders and they're gonna target my radiant Hisuian Sneasler okay that's gonna be a problem uh, do we have any more recovery we do have one super rod left in the deck so this is a one-to-one -one. oh dude Okay. One to one. Can we win it though? We can't knock out Mew EX. Even with the poison, we can't knock it out. Um Let me see if I can get a super rod with Pokestop. Come on, Super Rod! No, we did not. Okay. Okay. I can put another... No, 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 no. What am I trying to do here? I will... Try and recover. Um, let me use Nastash. Ancient booster, okay. Um, restart. All right. How many did I? Okay, I can spare one ancient booster capsule. And then just end my turn. Draw five with industrious incisors. Okay. Okay. Hmm. What can I do here? What can I do here? I mean, I could just start poisoning this guy, right? And then... They need one more though. 
Let me use Arvin. Get a nest ball. Uh, let me just get Super Ride. Oh, this is not good. Super Ride to get my Hisuian Sneasler back to the deck. And then... Claw. I don't know if the, my opponent has this, because if they have a recovery item card, I mean, they have superior energy retrieval gone. 5, 10, 15. If they only need 4 to knock out my Mew EX. And they have a boss's orders hidden somewhere, and they could just knock us out. Right? That's not nice. We almost had it! We almost had it. Yeah, well, it's it's either we have it or we don't, you know? <laughs> 170 against this Goldengo. Uh, I could have taken a chance on that new EX, but they did take out our Hisuian Sneasler. So... Yeah. There's the boss. They have one energy. They only need one energy to knock out our Squobit. Do they have the energy? They don't! Bro! <laughs> they didn't have it all this time. What? They didn't have it. <laughs> they ran out of resources. Unbelievable. Okay, well, they almost had it. Wow, that was a close one. Good game. <laughs>And that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please don't forget to smash the like button for me. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching the Popsicle Night channel. And as always, stay safe and have a great day.